Conservationists have started a campaign urging the Australian government to protect the Coral Sea, one of the country's last tropical marine wildernesses. Environmental groups are concerned that the region could be targeted by illegal shark fishermen, as well as oil and gas prospectors. From Sydney, here's Phil Mercer. Campaigners describe the Coral Sea as a stunning blue water highway full of oceanic predators. Osprey Reef is one of its gems. It's a haven for hammerhead and white tip sharks, as well as manta rays. Wildlife groups say the area is in good shape, but warn that dangers are lurking just around the corner. They want the government in Canberra to give the Coral Sea full environmental protection and create what would be the world's largest marine park. There are a lot of threats coming our way, and I guess uh, you know, from illegal fishing to uh, you know, fishing under licence, uh, recreational fishing is even a risk even this far out, um, oil and gas, um, and the, uh, the looming presence of climate change is also a major threat to places like Osprey Reef. The Coral Sea comprises 780,000 square kilometres and borders the Great Barrier Reef off Australia's northeast coast. The big worry is that there are so many sharks in these waters that illegal fishermen will inevitably target them. The shark fin trade is a lucrative one. Across Asia, this controversial delicacy is seen as a symbol of prestige and wealth. Wildlife experts say strong demand is doing untold damage to the environment. Yeah, the species we're um, doing research on here are threatened throughout most of the Indo-Pacific region, mainly due to fishing for the shark fins on all the islands around, and the populations are being decimated anywhere. The Australian government says that calls for the Coral Sea to be given greater protection are being investigated by a specialist panel. Campaigners are insisting that action needs to be taken soon. Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney.